Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I am going to talk about Spring Framework Setter Injection Demo. In this example, you will learn how to set a bean property via Setter Injection. Let's see the code. In this, in this main method, I am trying to create an application context and I am passing this XML file, Spring Model Setter Injection.xml file. So, whenever I call this line, execute this line, this XML file will be loaded. Let's see what is there inside this XML file. This XML file is the bean configuration XML file. That means it will have the bean definitions. Here if you see, I have a bean tag with ID user. So this is the ID for the bean and the corresponding class that Spring will create. So I should give the complete path for the class that I need Spring to create the object. So and apart from that, class we have property also so while spring creates the user object it will also call this beans attribute setter setter method so if you see this user method user class it has three attributes and correspondingly it will have setters method so these setters method will be called by spring whenever it creates this object so whenever it creates this bean it will it will call the setters method of in this class and it will pass all these values okay so this is called a setter injection so in the first line it it will try to load this xml file when try while loading the xml file it will try to create the bean while creating the bean it will try to set th these three properties via setter method let's see i put the breakpoint in setter methods let's see how exactly it works i'm starting the debugging now so first line i'm, I'm trying to execute if you see that it will load the xml bean definitions sir. loading xml bean definitions so can you see this the spring container is called the set username if you see here the username that we placed in the xml file will be used here so it tries to read this value and it calls the it calls each setter method so it is calling the can you see set age is called and next is set country so all the setter methods are called by the container now our object is ready now I'm going to call the context and get this user bean if you see here the user bean has all these details so all these details are set by the container by calling its setter method okay so this is how setter injection works in spring hope this video is useful thank you and all the best